Big day today. Reboot 2 is out. Brooks and Dunn. Hey, boys. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? We're doing good, man. Doing it's good. always nice to have you guys on. We've just been over here uh, body surfing with the crowd, listening to some of these. Uh, oh, my gosh. i got to <laughs> play a little clip uh, for Reboot 2. Stop it. Stop it. So you gotta tell us. <laughs> Jeez, good lord, it's so uh, hot. Uh, uh, Back yeah. up and get a hammer and the nail all the way into the concert. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, so how did this album? So I hear there's a rumor is that you guys were like just like watching from the control room as artists would come in, like Megan Maroney, Hailstorm, mm-hmm. Jelly Roll, whoever, Lane, and just kind of let them do their deal. Yeah, I mean we we, we were there to kind of add what little advice we could or, or help or, or, or just get out of the way. Yeah. Hailstorm is unique in this. I mean, a few days before they had just sold out Wembley. I mean, they are, they are huge and a really good rock band. You know, Dan Huff, our producer who they brought their own band and four piece band, Lizzie Hale and her brother started the band, I think 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, Dan Huff's his, his whole history is he was a, Big time rock guitar player in Los Angeles and all that before he started producing Keith Urban and everybody else in town. And you know, it's funny when they when they kicked that off and they had figured that song out, they came in with that arrangement. <laughs> and he just looked over at me and smiled and he went, "Damn!" He goes, "This is a really good band." Yeah, so, and they they are serious rockers, a, but they're together. Riff, uh-huh. And it was like all of a sudden the energy in the control room just just went to ten. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody started hopping around. Like the engineers even were like, they're, suddenly they're standing up, like just turning buttons, twisting things. Like, oh, that's a little loud. <laughs> that's a little loud. That's a little loud. Oh, the, 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 the knob broke. Turn it going down. on here. That's okay. Yeah, that's, everybody, somebody, somebody, hold the speakers it's up. Supposed to be there. Okay. Do you guys get? Uh, uh, do you guys? Are you? Do you ever get amazed by how many people are fans of y'all that are, aren't even really in the genre of country music? I'm like Ronnie, not, it's, I don't know, it, it was fun to find out that, that those guys were really so into doing this, and that of all songs, that they would pick that one. Yeah. Um, so it, it'll, if we get reactions, uh, if we get kickback reactions, that's the one I probably get a ton, just like from you guys. I mean, what's your take on stuff like that when you hear it? You know, I hear it, and I think it's fun, I think it's exciting, and I think it brings uh-huh. new people. You know, that we all listen to more than just you know, the classics, more than yeah. just what's current, more than whatever. We listen to other genres of music as well. We all do. We all have those influences yeah. in our lives. Yeah. And my take is this. Anything to bring people to the country party is awesome. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Exactly. I agree. Uh, okay, we, we look out on the shows, like, like for the last last three years, the, uh, we're out and do it, and Kix will go, at one point he stopped and he said, hey, how many of you, this is your first show? And we'll go, these these, these uh, Crowds look a little younger than, than we're accustomed, you know, than we expect. You haven't been here 30 years, have right. you? Uh, right. And he goes, well, how many of you, it's the first show? And two-thirds of the, of the audience, I mean, the crowd will, will raise their hand. Really? Yes. Fact. It's amazing Every right now. Time. Really fun, yeah. too. So it's it's a it's a rebirth. I don't I don't know. It really is. Yeah. Well, it's a chance for more new people to discover Brooks and Dunn. Reboot 2 is out while you're listening to that, go back and look at the old stuff, too, and see where it all came from. Absolutely. All right, we'll come back with the boys, uh, Brooks and Dunn, coming up next. Hang on. Brooks and Dunn, the Reboot 2, uh, the album is out, and this is a kind of a different take. It's having uh, other artists. It's, so it's like, uh, you know, you, you like Ernest, you like Hardy, uh, uh, Morgan, or whoever, yeah. and they kind of come in, and, you know, these guys are huge fans of y'all. You know, they, they, they cut their teeth on y'all, cut and playing your covers and bars and stuff when when morgan came in where was it could you tell he was a little starstruck no we kind of know morgan we've, yeah. we've known him for a while yeah so, you know i mean he's thrown a couple of chairs at us too <laughs> 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 but in a buddy way right yeah. right right, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we've, we've we've lived with him through some of those things yeah so, right uh, you know He's a good, great guy. Yeah. Honestly, I don't think anybody – we had people that said, man, you know, we're complimentary, but I didn't feel anybody really being starstruck. It's, no. it's one of the cool things about this group of artists. Everybody's – they've got their own confidence. They're doing their thing. They're pros. And, and a 
lot of them just came in with, with like what you're hearing, some really their own ideas, and, and they were really solid and put together, just like – Marcus King, you know, he had they had already arranged Rock My World. He knew what he wanted to do with it, and and was singing it and playing guitar when he when he first stepped in the booth with his band. But some acts, you know, like Warren Warren Ziders, uh, Ronnie's talked about with you know, kind of led him uh, along with some ideas that he had. But he was curious, like you know, what what could we do with this? It's different. Really looking for collaboration. Every every artist was different. It's really it. fun to, to see though the, the, the younger artists come in. You know, like new. Like Warren War said, he said over COVID, I was sitting in my my bedroom, like like throwing songs out to, to TikTok, and he said, next thing you know, I've got a record deal, and and I'm I'm doing concerts. You're right. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so you, and she said he had just admittedly said, this is this is all it's new to me, which it was new to us at, at, at one point, you know, a hundred years ago, and you you kind of get in there and and work together. He was doing Brand New Man, and uh, uh, it kind of got hung up on the chorus and where to go and. One of the guys hit uh, hit a chord uh, that was uh, it, it just struck a Nirvana chord or like nerve, and I said, "Dude, what, what if we take the what if we take the verse just kind of to, to Nirvana?" And the players are like, "Dude, we're already there." <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> Push play, and and away it went. So you you have to hear it. I, I love how there. Uh, but you, it didn't steal. It didn't steal anything from the original. Yeah, I love how there are. You know, the, the, you have the different t- like hailstorm. It's you know going to be like a rocking kind of deal, and you get like neon moon with Morgan, and yeah. uh, he he kind of wanted very it, traditional. Yeah, kind of kept it from you yeah. know what it what what it was, and I, I that think was it's his choice. You know? Yeah, yeah. They uh, had just moved it a little over into that cowboy cha cha thing. And uh, and Brian Sutton, great acoustic guitar player, session player here in town, had uh, uh, had a class. Uh, I think Joey mentioned he goes, why don't you play a, you know, get a gut string, you know, classical guitar on that and try. Let's put a little, you know, Mexicali vibe on yeah. the, uh, ahead of what we're doing there. So for people that you know aren't really staring at it too hard, it's like, well, this sounds a lot like the original, and it kind of does. But I think that that. Cowboy Cha Cha has happened on the dance floor for a long time with that song, so it's fun to see it kind of go all the way there. So of. we're hoping, just in the back, been in the back room, is this we'll, we'll end up in uh, Brooks and Dunn in Mexico City. Oh, oh, that would be awesome! That would be great. <laughs> Don't miss it one Boy, night you only. Make that happen for us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we love to uh, you play uh, can like we host one of those it? big bullfight arenas. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, yeah, listen, it's, it's, someone has <laughs> to die. Someone's gonna die. I'm sorry, oh, but there's gonna be a death tonight. This is yeah. reboot two and Gladiator. <laughs> Three all in one <laughs> fell swoop. Oh, we're now we're, yeah, we're talking. talking. Yeah. Now, speaking yeah. of Neon Moon, this is uh, Morgan Wallen, Brooks and Dunn from the album Reboot Two. It is out and more with Brooks and Dunn. The boys coming up. Brooks and Dunn Reboot Two. Uh, it is is out. Hey, you know, can we talk about the this tour that you guys are doing the the Neon Moon tour? David Lee Murphy uh, yeah. with you guys. Holy cow! Are you kidding me? One of our good buddies, writing partners. We got to town at, in uh, 79 together at the same time, working for Charlie Daniels way back then. Wow. And uh, we've been on tour together, you know, when and during the 90s, kind of in our heyday, and it's so much fun. We toured together last year, and it's still, he's one of our favorite people. And, man, he's, yeah, as you know, if you've seen him, he's great, too. You know, David walks out there, and everything that he does, every song he does is a big hit, whether he did it in, in a solo deal or, or somebody else. Yeah, and he, he, massive hit. Massive. Do you yeah. guys, when, when you think about, like, uh, like country music and kind of that, you know, that honky-tonk kind of style, if you had to pick, they're like, okay, you're going to have one Brooks and Dunn song that epitomizes the honky-tonk vibe. What do you guys think it is? Oh golly! How many how many times have I said honky talk in a song or us? Right? <laughs> you talking about our songs or any? Song? No, just you guys. You if somebody guys. said we're going to look for the representative song, like this is the one song that is just the standout for that era. I think Neon Moon's a good call. It, neon Moon, My well, Maria, Boots, Boots Scoot and, and Boogie. Yeah, and, but right. then there's there's some more kind of off yeah. the grid stuff like uh, well, what, what uh, honky talk? Uh, geez, help me. Okay, honky like, tonk anything. Yeah, anything honky tonk. That's the same. There's about a hundred of them. Uh, uh, honky tonk truth. I can remember this record executive like a while back. He goes, he goes we're, we're picking the next single. He goes, please just don't say honky tonk. <laughs> Stop saying that. It's yeah. like a tick. It's like yeah. a bad tick. <laughs> what was, uh, uh, 
rhythm and blues. What hockey? Was it, uh, oh yeah, redneck rhythm, redneck, and, rhythm blues. and blues. Uh, mm-hmm. Some of that stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know. love that that feel, that sound, Attitude. that vibe. It's the best. Nothing like a little Brooks Play and Dunn. Play country, you know. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Danceable stuff. Uh, well, reboot two, reboot two. It's out. Uh, make sure you get it, Brooks and Don, and it's got Hardy, Ernest, uh, Morgan, Cadillac Three, who I love, uh, Riley <laughs> Green, Laney. Everyone's on it. You need to be listening to it. Lend them your ears. Good to see you, boys. Hey, thanks. Uh, thank you, fellas. Well, I'll see you on the road, Brooks and Don. All right, y'all try and behave. Well, it's good to visit. All right, see ya. Bye. Hey, thank you. All right. Well, that was that was great. That was good. Oh, you did good. Thank you. I have you no were... idea what it was because yeah. it's taped afterwards. But mm-hmm. you were you amazing, sh- though. Thanks. Appreciate it.